Welcome in Engineering Materials and Metallurgy. Today we will discuss about the heat treatment of steel. I am Professor A.P. Gorke, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering of SND College of Engineering and Research Center. So the introduction of heat treatment. Heat treatment process is a series of operations involving the heating and cooling of metal in the solid state. So heat treatment is nothing but uh, the series of operations involve the heating and cooling of the metal in solid state. So in this heat treatment process, we have to heat the uh, steel or material or metal and then we have to cool the that metal which is present in the solid state only. So this type of process is called as a heat treatment. Uh, the purpose of heat treatment is to change the mechanical property or combination of mechanical properties so that the metal will be more useful serviceable and safe for definite purpose. By heat treating, a metal can be made harder, stronger and more resistance to impact. Heat treatment can also make a metal softer and more ductile. We must know the stages that a ferrous metal undergo while heating and cooling. So, this is the iron carbide equilibrium diagram, which uh, shows the uh, different uh, percentage of carbon on x-axis and uh, temperature on y-axis, that is uh, de in degree Celsius. So while uh, heating is there, then the phase changes occurs from alpha ferrite to austenite and austenite to delta ferrite and further in liquids. And in cooling, a liquid phase converted into the delta ferrite, then austenite. Uh, then alpha ferrite and uh, cementite or lady burite phase. So this is the stages uh, that the ferrous metal undergoes the while heating and cooling. So heat treatment involves the use of heating or chilling that is a cooling normally to extreme temperatures uh, to achieve a desired result such as hardening or softening of the material. The heat treatment process is carried out. The heat treatment process are as follows or the following are the types of the heat treatment processes. So first is the annealing heat treatment. Second one is a normalizing. So in annealing the metal is heated in the furnace and cool in the furnace itself by switch opening the furnace. Second one is a normalizing. Here the metal is heated in the furnace and cool in the air or at room. Third is the case hardening that is nothing but a, it is a surface hardening or it is a quenching process or it is also called as a conventional hardening where salt bath or water or oil is used as a coolant. Then next is a precipitation strengthening that is also one heat treatment. Then tempering is the heat treatment process. So after uh, uh, martensitic uh, uh, phase formation, so the tempering will uh, remove the retained austenite and stresses in the metal. Then os tempering is there and mart tempering is also there. So these are the various heat treatment processes that are carried out. Next uh, purpose of heat treatment. So the, it causes relief of internal stresses developed during cold working, welding, casting and forging. It hardens the and strengthens the metal, so after heat treatment. It will improve the machinability, then it will change the grain size, then soften the metal for further cold working as in wire drawing or cold rolling. So cold work being rolled into copper alloy strip. So this is the one type of a cold working process and after that heat treatment can be performed to remove the stresses. So heat treatment 
for the hardening hardening and hardness are the two very different things one is the process of heat treatment and other is the extrinsic property of the material so hardening is the process of heat treatment and hardness is the property of the material so hardening is a heat treatment process in which steel is rapidly cooled from austenizing temperature as the result of hardening the hardness and wear resistance of steels are improved so hardening treatment generally consists of heating to hardening temperature holding at that temperature followed by rapid cooling such as quenching in oil or water or salt bath so this is called as a so the in hardening treatment uh, heating to hardening temperature then holding at that temperature after that rapidly cooling by using the quenching in the oil or water or salt bath or brine solution so here in diagram also you can see the hardening heat treatment so on x axis there will be percentage of carbon and on y axis so there will be the temperature in degree celsius on left side and on right side uh, temperature in degree farad so here uh, full annealing and hardening process is denoted at the temperature of 1400 degree celsius so the above the austenizing phase the metal is heated and suddenly cooled in a water or a salt bath so that required hardness is achieved for the metal so hardness achieved in the different heat treatment processes are shown in the figure so this is the figure for hardness of treated and untreated samples of astm a36 so untreated sample is having uh, the hardness value nearly about 70 so on y axis in this graph you will find the hardness and on x axis there will be the different processes carried out for annealing heat treatment the hardness is uh, about uh, 55 for normalized the hardness achieved is uh, more than 100 for quenching or hardening the hardness is rapidly increased so that will be nearly equal to the 300 for tempering that will be the tempering or arch tempering or mat tempering the hardness achieved will be equal to the 100 so this is the curve or the diagram or the bar chart shows the hardness achieved in the different heat treatment processes next is the process of hardening of steel is shown in the figure so here heating of the metal then soaking up to a pre determined time then quenching in a media as per defined so here you can see the graph of time versus temperature so initially the heating will be there so pre heating is there so up to 850 degree celsius is the pre heating for a particular period of the time after that temperature increases to the austenizing stage that will be the 1030 degree celsius so keeping that austenizing temperature for a period of time definite period of the time after that the metal is suddenly cooled by a quenching process so from austenizing temperature 1030 degree celsius it will be rapidly cooled to the temperature 45 degree celsius so due to sudden cooling the material becomes harder and hardness process is completed next the diagram represent the different zone of heating in heat treatment process so this is one of the experiment that is a jomini and eight quest test for hardenability so sample is kept in the heated sample is kept in the fire blocks then it will be the heated after that it will be cooled and different hardness are measured for the tempered area and another area this is not a hardenability this is a, a tempering heat treatment process 
next is the time temperature transformation diagram it will give the representation of the formation of the upper light then uh, day night and martian site so the it will represent the cooling of the metal that is nothing but a transformation phase of the austenite into the perlite austenite into the bainite that is upper bainite and lower bainite and the third one is the martensite so if a sudden cooling is there so you can observe here from 900 degrees celsius so suddenly if it will become to the 40 degrees celsius that uh, cooling is called as a quenching so that heat treatment is a quenching then this is the curve which will show the normalizing where fine perlite is formed that is called as a air cooling is there so slowly the that will be cooled so here time will be more as compared with the quenching so for normalizing the cooling will be the slow then third one is the, this is the again the cooling curve for the coarse perlite which is represent the annealing process which will have a, again more time than the normalizing so here this will represent the annealing heat treatment process this curve represent the normalizing heat treatment process this curve represent the uh, martian site that is a quenching heat treatment that is sudden cooling then next curve is a os tempering that is a bainite formation so metal is cooled then uh, mechanically treated and after that cooled to the room temperature so this will be called as os tempering then uh, tempering simple tempering is a that is a tempered martian site so here a metal when it is in the martian site phase after quenching it will be heated to the up to 450 degrees celsius then soaking time is given and after that again cooled to the room temperature so this is called as a tempering process so here the main objective of the tempering is to reduce the hardness of the martian site and also to relieve the stresses in the hardened martian site and also uh, remove the retained austenite from the martian site So thank you for watching the heat treatment processes.